In under two hours, I just took this one star review from Google, tracked the seller down, called him, met him at his house here, bought his house, and now we're gonna make over $60,000 flipping this house. This is the Google review where the guy is saying we are a scam, probably a bunch of kids, and didn't think we were real, thought we were just messing around with him. So apparently what had caused this is someone on my team set an appointment for us to meet the seller at this property today, which is the weekend, Saturday at 1 p.m. I don't go on these tours, guys. I have acquisitions managers that do this. They get the appointment set for them. They go on these tours and they lock up the deals for us. The reason I'm out here is because it's a Saturday. Someone set the appointment. The acquisitions manager had no clue what was going on. No one showed up and the guy left us a one star review on Google. I called the guy. I said, I'm the owner of the company. I just want to let you know that's unacceptable. I am so sorry. I thought I was just going to apologize and he was going to cuss me out and I was going to take it because I value people's time so much. But he did yell a lot. But then he said, if you want, meet me there in 30 minutes. I'll go run some errands. He was actually driving in from out of town an hour away just for this appointment. So I felt super bad. So I met him here. He was a reasonable guy. I would be furious if someone wasted my time like that, but we got on the same page. He manages a lot of people. He understands stuff happens, miscommunications happen. We got in there and made a deal for us to buy this house for $75,000. We're gonna put about 12 to 15,000 into it. And the ARV on this one is $165,000. So this is gonna be a phenomenal, phenomenal, easy flip for us. And if I didn't care about my business enough to call a guy and apologize, I would have never got this deal. And that's why they say good things come to those who have good intentions. Maybe they don't say that. Maybe I just made that up, but that's how I feel. You know, I did not want anything from this guy. I just wanted to call him and sincerely apologize. Through that, he said, you know what? I appreciate that. Let's meet. I still want to see if y'all can buy the house. We met. We're giving him a price that's really good for him. He's going to make a bunch of money off of it. We're going to make a bunch of money off of it. And it's going to be a great deal. And we're taking this headache off of his radar. He doesn't have to mess with this house anymore. So it's all about win-win scenarios. You can still try to do the best thing for people and treat people well and still get a crazy good deal and do great business. So that's what it's all about, guys. And as an owner, don't be afraid to step in whenever someone makes a mistake on your team. Sometimes you got to step in and take the brunt of the anger and the aggression from people that are upset customers. You just have to take ownership of everything because it's your company and sometimes good things will come from it.